Now at five, tragedy inside of a semi truck. 51 people are dead due to heat related illness after they were abandoned in an 18 wheeler in the middle of the sweltering afternoon heat. The semi was found on the side of Quintana Road that's in southwest San Antonio. Federal officials saying this could be the deadliest human smuggling case in modern U.S. history. As of right now, we're learning some of the 51 people killed could be teenagers, but authorities are having trouble confirming their ages. 13 people are still in the hospital right now and three are in custody. Uh, we've been following this story extensively and our team coverage continues now at five from the hospitals to help for survivors and tragically the incident San Antonio has seen in the past. But first, a Ken's five exclusive in the last hour. New insight from San Antonio's top cop about SAPD's response to the tractor trailer tragedy. Ken's five reporter Henry Ramos is live outside public safety headquarters. Henry, what have you been learning from the chief? Audrey it's truly about the response and the rush of officers to get to the scene. Uh, San Antonio's police chief Lloyd McManus just told me here in the last hour, the first officers arrived nine minutes after the first 911 phone call uh, came in and these officers along with EMS had the tough task to figure out who was alive and who was dead inside that trailer. Uh, Chief McManus says, of course, it was that worker that heard those cries for help and then found the abandoned trailer on Quintana Road. The chief says bodies were found inside and around outside the trailer. He says at first when SAPD arrived, it was purely a rescue mission. The initial work for responding SAPD officers was trying to figure out how many folks we had alive, Along with, along with EMS, uh, sorting the survivors from the deceased and trying to get them medical attention. Not to get too graphic, but is that, is that like kind of just going through the bodies in the trailer? Essentially? It is, it is. Very tough job there. The chief also discussed at length with me, uh, Homeland Security now taking over the investigation and the type of resources that SAPD is providing to the feds. More on my exclusive interview with the chief tonight on Kins 5 News at 10. For now, we're live outside Public Safety Headquarters. Henry Ramos, Kins 5. Audrey. Thanks so much, Henry.